Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless, and today it's part five of my powerful two bar series. If you didn't watch parts one, two, three, and four, the links are below. I think you should watch them all because some of part five shows some of the same things on the toolbar, and I'm not going over them because I already went over them in the previous section. So today's tutorial is on the paint mixer toolbar, so let's get started. <laughs> So what I did was I created a pixel layer with three color stripes. It's all on one layer, just like that. I just duplicate it in case I make a mistake. I always like to have a second duplicate, duplicate there. And so it's just a flat pixel layer. And now we're going to go to right here on the left, it says paint mixer brush. On the, in the paint mixer brush, you have width, flow, more and then um, this one is for the pressure sensitive if you have a tablet I'm using a mouse so I don't use it and strength all of these were covered in previous ones and uh, so really what I'm going to cover today is the load brush the auto load brush and the clean brush so what I want to start with first is a clean brush and I'm keeping auto load off so a clean brush is, if I, if I click clean and I go right here, see, see on these two like that? Now if I went here, it still will give me those colors, but if I click clean brush, there is nothing on the brush anymore. It's like taking your brush and cleaning it off you know, when, you use, when you're painting in real life. You just clean the brush before you go to another color so you don't have those colors mixed in. So clean brush is really good when you want to not keep the same colors. So if I go to here, I won't have any green. Now I'll just have the blues and the reds. So basically, I'm just all I'm doing is holding my left mouse button down and mixing. I'm moving it around and mixing. And so green, I'm sorry, so blue and red make purple. And that's how I'm getting that purple color. Now, without cleaning the brush, I'm now moving the purple color here. See that? So there are kind of some cool things you could do with that by not cleaning the brush. For example, let's clean the brush right now. And if I took, say, this, this whole look of the blue, and I'm keeping my brush on the blue and the yellow. And let's say now I go like that. Look at how pretty that is, the blue and the yellow. And if I really wanted to be fancy, I'm going to lower, I'm going to lower my brush. I mean, make my brush smaller with my left bracket and I can go like that. And before I know it, with a little bit of extra detail and I, I can add a beak. In fact, I'll do it right now. So let's get the brush tool. And I made my thing black and I'll make it really, really small. And this is really, I'm just really doing this quickly. But if I want, whoa, that's really bad. I want to get really tiny, almost to a one point. And, and I'm making a really horrible bird here. But you got the idea. I mean, I, I just basically was able to mix these colors. I could have gotten an eye in there. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty horrible bird and a beak. Of course, I would not do it this way. This is all for fun. What I really could do is I would just take this, go back to the paint mixer brush and just go like this and and make my brush really small. And of course, I can always add yellow into there. I could, I can add the feet like that. But that was just how easy it is with the paint mixer brush. So that now every every time I clean my brush, now I'm going to make my brush bigger. I'm hitting the right left bracket. I, when I have nothing on my brush again. So if I went back to here and I wanted to add some red in there or some purplish blue or red and blue, I can, I can mix like this, and now I can add some red in here. I'm just gonna go a little smaller, and it should add red, well, maybe not, let me see. Let's try this, let's get some red, and well, it's not getting red, why is that? Oh, because the red is mixing with the other colors, so it's harder to get red. But you can do a red on the outside like that because, and now as we're mixing that way, it works. So I could add a little bit of red and it's kind of, once you have some color into it, it and you can mix it, it's kind of a great way to come up with some very cool looks here, you know? 
Now, a different way of doing that is I'm going to clean the brush again. Now, remember, when I start here on a clean brush, there's nothing on my brush, and I go right to here, right? And then nothing happens to, on the red because it's only red, but once I go to the blue, it's mixing. So that's how you, now I'm going to clean my brush again. But if I load my brush, loading my brush means I'm loading it with whatever color I have here or here in the color palette. So I'm starting out with yellow before I even touch anything. See how the yellow comes in? I actually started with yellow. So I'll load my brush again and um, I have yellow mixed in there and that's how I got that color. I'll load it again and and you notice how I started here and it's green because yellow was added to the blue. So if you load your brush by clicking this button, it will add whatever color you have here. So I changed that color to, let's try and get something that's not there right now. Not really great colors here. Um, let's say here, this, this color. And now I load the brush. I'm putting that color onto this yellow. See? Um, so I'm adding that in. Even though that, that color wasn't in this already, I'm adding that color in. So as I mix, now I can play and, and try and get a mixture of that color, which gives me a new color. If I ever wanted to use that particular color on something, I could select that, and then that's the color right there. See? So that's one way of mixing the brush, and, lo and that's called loading. So let's uh, do one more thing. Let's go back to my color mixer brush. That's loading manually. So now let's clean the brush. When you load manually, let's load one more time. Say this pink. I'm loading it, so I'm starting out with that color. But once I've done it, I'm done. I have to load again. See? And then I just go, and I'm done. I have to load again. Now, I could add more flow and strength, which I went over in some of the other ones. So if I added more flow, you see it goes further. So if I load it again, and I want to bring this into here, I can bring it in even further that way, like that. Now I'm going to clean the brush again. Now if I don't want to keep doing that, if I want to keep mixing whatever color I have in my palette with the other colors, I can auto load. That means every single time I click and, and drag, that color will be in there. So like the first time I did it like this, and, it, and the second time wasn't there, I had to load again. But this time, no matter how many times I do it, I have that color. So if I'm mixing this, I can mix this into here. They're not very good mixers, but let's pick another color. Um, let's try, yeah, let's try yellow again, but this time we'll, we're going to mix the yellow in the blue right here. So if I keep going like this, I'm adding every time. See how I'm adding some great, it's really pretty powerful. And again, if you mix like this and you pick a color and you say, wow, that color looks really great, then use your color picker and select it, and that becomes the new color. So if you took a regular paintbrush and wanted to paint in that, that color, that was the color right there, that's the color that's this. Look at that. that that's the match right there. See? So that's how you, you can mix and match colors. So let me see if I got everything. Um, where am I? So we did load brush, auto load brush, clean brush. That's really the main things because everything else I already covered in the other parts of these tutorials and the links are below if you need to see them. One more thing, if you do symmetry, the symmetry works a little bit weird. I just tried it. Let's just uh, do instead of one, I want to do two. So I'm not going to auto load. I'm going to start with a clean brush. Now if I start here, in symmetry, it here I'm mixing the red and the blue, but you notice how here it's and it's mixing this and here it's mixing these two colors. So it's kind of a interesting look, and it does it does take probably a lot of processing power. See, but um. It's not mixing, like if I'm doing this and mixing yellow and the green and the blue, 
it's not mixing yellow, green, and blue down here. It's mixing red, green, and blue down here. So symmetry, and I went over symmetry in the other um, tutorials, so you can go look at that in detail and how to move it. And yeah, I can move that there if I wanted to, and then it's a whole different thing. So I'm not going to go over that again. So this was part five of my tutorial. And you know what? I think everyone should screen grab this bird because it's a beautiful masterpiece. And I think you'd like to hang it on your wall and just remember that I was the one who did it. You know, make sure you, you know what? Let me just see. Let me get a really, really bad tiny brush here. Whoops, let's take symmetry off. We're going to take a tiny brush just for the hell of it. And I'm going to put, oh, jeez. <laughs> I can't do this without a tablet. Okay, so there's my signature. So, so if you just take that and put it on your board or your wall or something, you can say that you have a Richard Spisano art piece. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little crazy today, but I'm crazy every day. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, click like and subscribe. And thank you very much and have a good day.